Happy Sunday! I'm the supplier, and this is Sunday Bookstack for the week of December 30th, 2018. So this is not just the last Sunday Bookstack of 2018, it is the last Sunday Bookstack. I'm retiring Sunday Bookstack to make space for other ideas I have for where I want this channel to go. This year has been a year of, like, shifting. So I shifted in jobs. I'm not in the classroom anymore. I work with teachers now. I also write a lot of tests. And I've made measurable progress on my dissertation such that, you know, I have defended my proposal and all of that, and now I'm going on to actually do my research. So with the first change, I thought, well, I'm not going to be in the classroom anymore. My reading habits are going to change. And they didn't really... But I think that it's, I think that it's time. I think it's time that I approach reading a little bit differently, which leads me into my reading resolutions for this year, or for next year, 2019. My first reading resolution is to read more diversely. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, or if you've watched previous Sunday book stacks, you'll know that I've already read pretty diversely, but I realize in looking at my data from this year, which I may or may not share, I haven't decided yet, that I tend towards certain types of stories and certain types of experiences, and I want to broaden my scope. I want to broaden my realm of reading experience. So I'm going to be intentional about doing that this year. Because I'm very fiction-heavy and because I realize that I'm very fiction-heavy, I've decided that I need to read more nonfiction. I mean, I read New Jim Crow this year, and I read Why I'm Not No or Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race, and I read um, When They Call You a Terrorist, and all of these were fascinating. And so I think it is time. I think it's time for me to read more nonfiction in my reading diet. My third reading resolution is related to something that is happening in our household. We are working on adoption, and so I want to read more picture books because I want to have a beautiful, diverse collection of picture books, like, already, but to do that I have to read them. So that is one of the things that I really want to do this year. And then my last reading resolution kind of ties everything together. Really what this is about is an intentionality. This is what I tell my teachers all the time. You've got to be intentional. So. My intentional thing, the thing that I'm going to try to do, is to read less and think more. I know that as a reader I have a tendency to read really fast so that I can read as much as I possibly can, so I can experience as many stories as I possibly can, and I think it's time to change that. I think I need to spend more time thinking about the things that I read, and maybe engaging in dialogue in a different way about the things that I read, and I think that's where I want this channel to go, since I'm, you know, since I'm ending Sunday Bookstack, I think it might go to sharing some of the things that I'm thinking about, the things that I'm reading, as I'm reading in process, and talking to you guys about them. And I think they can be very interesting and very different. So that's where I think things are going. Um, I don't know how much of that's going to happen between now and May, because dissertation, and I'm actually thinking about resurrecting dissertation updates so that you can hear some about some of my data analysis. And that is around books as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, 2019 is a little bit up in the air, the book supplier YouTube-wise, and I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pause and be bored and see what creativity comes from that boredom. Do you do reading resolutions? If so, let me know what they are in the comments. Um, I hope you had a great 2018, and here is wishing you a fabulous 2019.